early plays on the football. They don't have a lot of pass breakups or interceptions this year. Walker, Walker to the end zone. Touchdown. You have got to play contain here if you're Jayon Brown. Watch. He's the guy at the end. He's responsible for the cutback. Walker sees it, and then once you give him that angle, he is gone. And, and that's a running back. If you've watched his home runs this season, uh, you cannot allow him to see the edge. He'll take it. 32 to play in the first quarter. The Seahawks turn the table and grab a 7 nothing lead. Going nowhere, wrapped up before he even got started by Andrew Billings. To Greg Gumble. All right, guys, thank you. That pass. Now from the 12, and this is Walker. Walker dancing his way inside the 10 to about the six yard line. Go with the football, and again, his accuracy well documented. This is Walker. And Walker brought down. Almost immediately, Denzel Perryman in on the stop along with Bilal Nichols. In this high red area around the 20 yard line, Greg, they love to attack the end zone. First quarter numbers six of Seattle, 16 total plays have been in Las Vegas territory. Here's Smith to the near side. Walker looking for running room, doesn't find much. And is brought down by a trio of Raider defenders led by Bilal Nichols. Walker. Walker trying to turn that corner. And we were talking with Max Crosby on how important it would be to set the edge against a runner like Kenneth Walker. It's really the most important. When you look at his home run balls, the long balls, a lot of it is because he has great acceleration. If, if you don't set an edge or he thinks he can hit it, uh, more times than not, he will be able to hit that edge. But so far in this game, again, he really hasn't been able to break anything. So. Credit the Raiders up front for you know, limiting what Walker can do running the football. Seven carries for 19 yards. Gino to throw, no, to the side. And this is Walker again, and here goes Walker on the sideline. Now, here's a great example, again, to what, what stands out to me is that when, when he knows where he's going, when he sees it, his acceleration right there, as soon as he decides, whether it's a hole or whether it's just bursting right between those two defenders, you know, that's what makes him so exciting running the football. Gonna give it to Walker again. And Walker picking his way through and can't quite escape. You know, they really, you know, mentioned how last week, you know, really two of their last three games, you know, they really haven't been able to get Walker loose. And so it's, it's so important for the Seahawks you know, really to have that kind of balance, especially if you can start to force the Raiders to put Lockett and Metcalf in one-on-one. -on -one. That's when the offense can really start to take off. Gino going to go deep down the sideline. Got a man. Touchdown. Tyler Lockett. To shoot. Let's turn it off with Walker. And Walker picking his way for about four, close to five yards. Bilal Nichols making the stop. You know, this run game, it's really kind of a boom or a bust run game. And what I mean by that is it's it's either kind of a big play or a splash play or a negative play or a tackle for a no game. There's really not a lot of in between. And so, again, the key is for the Raiders is, is you got to be able to get to Walker before he can hit that acceleration button. They've been able to do that this game, and that's why, you know, he only sits here with just 26 yards. Geno Smith throws near side. That's complete to Miller Fent, the tight end, and he is out close to a first down. And another example of a player that's wide open for Smith to hit. Here's Walker. Walker to the five. Pushing his way to the end zone. Did he get there? He did. This really starts up front. What a great job by the center, 63, Austin Blythe, the double team. You got Hall coming in there. 
If he can't take him to the ground. You got a whole host of Raiders. And then Kenneth Walker just drives. Look at those strong legs. He's just going to back in there and drive himself, force himself into the end zone. Well, what a drive by Seattle. Seahawks come out of the locker room and grab the lead. 27, 24. 27 to 7, and everybody in Seattle looking forward to that rematch. Walker going nowhere, and Denzel Perryman the first to hit him. Well, I've already mentioned, you know, Denzel Perryman had the huge interception earlier in this game, but he's just a good football player. From the 46. And Walker escapes trouble, trying to break it outside, and he's going to get tackled, knocked down hard by Denzel Perryman. Plenty of pursuit for the Raiders. I don't know how he gets away from, from this, but look at Billings. Billings has been all over the place. This is about as good as I've seen the interior, you know, front four play. But <laughs> Walker, you know, he gets swallowed up almost immediately. Raider 27. Walker. Tried to vault, couldn't get there. <laughs> Denzel Perryman brought him down. Well, that's a good, that's a good tackle right there by by Perriman once again he's just he's all over the football field he, when he's on the field it makes a big difference in their run game and again Seattle has tried a variety of different runs inside outside they just haven't been able to get it going Walker 13 carries just 26 yards Walker Walker has not been able to show the explosiveness that he's been known for today. That is 14 carries for him today and 26 yards. Uh, the, the Raiders, they've just been a brick wall inside. I get, I've, I've said it time and time again in this game. It... Jacobs. Jacobs with running room right 